I think that our hospital has a unique opportunity in being a nonprofit hospital. Over 90% of the people that we see at our hospital are actually residents in Arroyo Grande in the five cities. It's very important that we have the community hospital here because when you need medical care, you need it right now. Having that hospital this close was probably the difference between life and death for me. I had been in bed all day with a headache and it kept getting worse and worse. I told my husband, you gotta call 911. I, I can't take it no more. They loaded me up, took me to Aurora Grande emergency. And I remember very, very distinctly sitting there and th this doctor came in immediately, started examining my wife. She rushed me in to do a CAT scan. And when I got back, she said, you do have an aneurysm in your brain. And within 10 minutes, she'd been back in and she said that she had gotten me set up with a neurosurgeon and um, they did surgery and I'm alive today because of it. It literally saved my life, her being so quick and getting me moved so fast. Arroyo Grande Hospital is very important to Nick and I and our family. We've raised our kids here when they scraped their knees, broken bones, or even had an appendix removed. That's the hospital we went to and it's our community hospital. My husband had a fall and he was pretty injured. And so when we got in there, the managing nurse took over. She made sure that he was comfortable and that he got attention right away. The doctor was there almost immediately and the staff can't do enough for you. They treated him wonderfully and I'm very happy about that. And to have this kind of facility in our community, we are very fortunate. And I would ask everyone to be as supportive as possible. We really felt it was important that possibly our gift would help bring in others to try to help the hospital achieve the goals that, that the foundation and, and, the, and the hospital itself have, have set out together. You know, I think if you live in the community, there is so much that is gained and so much that we take for granted that comes from having a hospital of Roy Granny Hospital's caliber right in our backyard. The legacy campaign that we're currently conducting is a a philanthropic effort to bring improvements to our hospital. There are three facets to this legacy campaign. One is the expansion of our emergency department, commonly referred to as the ED or the ER. So we need a larger emergency department at a Royal Grande Community Hospital because our current facility was built to take care of approximately 16,000 patients. Currently, we're taking care of 22,000 patients per year. Some of the important changes that we will need include private rooms. Our emergency department currently has sectioned off rooms with curtains, and we understand that there's an importance in the healing process for our patients to provide quiet rooms, a quiet environment. In addition, it would allow our staff to have a much more usable and workable space. Having private rooms is also important for our clinical staff as we provide sensitive information to patients and their family members. We need to have that level of privacy. More and more now we're seeing that our emergency department is over capacity. Expanding our emergency departments is gonna help us surpass our challenges that we have seen recently with our increase in growth and volume. The hospital needs a new MRI, which is a diagnostic tool that allows the medical professional to look basically inside of our body. We've had one here at Arroyo Grande for 17 years and it's time for a new one. The newer ones are quieter, they have bigger bores, so there's less problems with claustrophobia. Also the magnets are stronger and that allows us to do faster scanning and provide more detail when we do that. We're also in a stroke center and having a better MRI to evaluate the brain and strokes is uh, essential for that. Currently our MRI is outside and we need to get it off of a trailer and into a building with a roof on it and that is our goal so that uh, people will be able to not have to climb steps or be lifted up into it. Our MRI being outside, if it's the weather's bad, it's raining, people have to go outside in the elements. It's not a great situation. We want to expand our department more to the community and have them have the option of having a high quality scan in a comfortable setting. Thirdly, the acute rehab facility is a facility that is used to treat people 
that had been seriously injured, may have had either a serious stroke or an orthopedic emergency. I am here because I hit my head and had to get it fixed. The nurses here, they are wonderful and very caring and sweet. A lot of people go home straight from the hospital. They'll just go home and kind of be sedentary. Here, we teach you how to, you know, move again, how to live again, essentially. In the motorcycle accident I had, I sustained injuries that, uh, that most people don't survive. I think the, the biggest thing I've learned since I've been here uh, mm -hmm. is that anything is possible. When hopelessness starts creeping in, that's when the staff come in and they're very uh, reassuring. It's given me the hope that I've needed to keep, keep going. So every breath I take, every thing I see, it's, uh, it's a gift. I'm trying to have more integration into the community, leading more towards having things like a stroke support group in the future. The other thing that I think will be important in our future is more types of therapeutic activities like horticulture or art or music therapy so that we're focusing on patients' wellness. It is the only facility of its type that's located between Salinas and Santa Barbara. And of course, it's extremely important for recovery of patients to be close to their home, close to their family. Today, we're looking at a facility that, again, is filled to its capacity on a regular basis. It's necessary to go to the community to ask for support in our legacy campaign. My wife Linda and I have chosen to give to this campaign, to the legacy campaign. We feel that having this hospital here and having the highest level of service available, the best level of technology, all counts, and we want to support that. It's now time to take the next step in improving our hospital. We know that our emergency department needs expansion. We know that our MRI device needs replacement and we know that our acute rehab facility is so in demand today that we need to give our medical professionals the area in which to work, our patients the area in which they need to recover. We could do this on our own if we had lots of time, but the time is critical now to make that step, that next step into the future. We're the people that are going to be using that facility and benefiting from that, and we need it now.